All right, so on this video, we are going to look at symmetry. We'll look at lines of symmetry. We'll look at rotational symmetry, order of symmetry, and the magnitude. So let's begin with lines of symmetry. What are lines of symmetry? So in its simplest form, if you can cut a shape uh, through the middle where one side reflects onto the other, we call that a line of symmetry. So for example, if I consider this rectangle, and if I can cut, draw a line through the middle where the left side maps onto the other, then we can say this has a line of symmetry. Uh, considering this rectangle, we have we not only have one line of symmetry, we actually have two lines of symmetry. A vertical line and a horizontal line. So this shape here has two lines of symmetry. Two lines of symmetry. Um, a second shape that we can consider uh, could be a square. A square, remember, has all equal sides, all equal angles. So considering this square, we can say that uh, it has one vertical line of symmetry. It also has a horizontal line of symmetry. That's two. It also has two diagonal lines of symmetry where one half maps onto the other. So this one here has four lines of symmetry. This one has four, rectangle has two. Uh, we consider, let's say, let's consider a circle, for example. If we consider a circle, a circle has an infinitely amount of lines of symmetry. It has many lines of symmetry. So a um, circle has infinitely many lines of symmetry. All right, so th this is what we call lines of symmetry. The next term we are going to look at is what we call um, rotational rotational symmetry. So rotational rotational symmetry. And what this means is between 0 and 360 degrees, how many times can a shape be rotated where it's mapped unto itself? So this rectangle between 0 and 360 degrees, I can rotate that, let's say, 90. Uh, it doesn't map into itself, but if I rotate it another 90, it maps into itself, and that's 180 degrees. So we can say that this rectangle has a rotational of symmetry, because I can rotate it 180 degrees, which is less than 360, and it maps on it, on it to itself. Um, considering uh, a square, if I take this square, I can rotate it, I can rotate it 90 degrees, and it maps into itself. If I can rotate another 90, it maps into itself, another 90, itself. So this one has also a rotational of symmetry. This should be a square, more like, more like that. Okay, so um, there are some shapes that do not have rotational symmetries. For example, if I consider this right triangle, if I consider this right triangle, um, if I rotate this right triangle, um, let's say 90 degrees, if I rotate it 90 degrees, it does not map into itself. If I go another 90, it does not map into itself. So regardless of how many times I rotate it or what degree I rotate this 90 degree, uh, this right triangle, it does not map into itself, all right? So remember the key is between zero and 360 degrees. Can I map, can I rotate this so it maps into itself? So the answer for this right triangle will be 
a no. So this one I cannot rotate it. So this is a no. Obviously, a uh, rectangle is a yes. Square is also a yes. And these are right angles. All right. The next term we need to talk about is uh, the order of symmetry. So the order of symmetry. What is the order of symmetry? And in its simplest terms, order of symmetry, order of symmetry is how many times between zero degrees, including 360 degrees, can I rotate a shape so it maps into itself? So let's go back to a rectangle. Between zero and 360 degrees, how many times can I rotate this so it maps onto itself? Well, I can, <clears throat> I can do 180, I can do 360. So this has um, an order of symmetry of two because I can rotate it twice uh, between zero and 360, including 360, and it maps into itself. Um, consider the next shape, uh, square. A square, I can rotate this. Um, four times, I can <clears throat> four times between zero and 360, including 360, and this shape mat maps onto itself. All right, so this is going to lead us into our next term, which is magnitude. Magnitude, and basically what this means, it's the smallest angle that I can rotate a shape so it maps onto itself, the smallest angle. If I consider a rectangle, the smallest angle that I can rotate it will be 180 degrees and it maps onto itself. A square, what's the smallest angle that I can rotate a square so it maps onto itself? The answer is 90 degrees. Well, how do we find the magnitude? Well, the magnitude is found by dividing 360, 100, 360 degrees by the order of symmetry, order of symmetry. So 360 divided by 2 is 180, 360 divided by 4 equals 90. And that's what we called a magnitude, the smallest angle that you can rotate a shape so it maps unto itself. I hope this makes sense. Please let me know if you have any questions.